This video is intended to be supplemental material to the maintenance IV fluid overview video. What I, cover, what I want to cover here is how to determine the best theoretical maintenance fluid for a perfectly healthy patient, numbers and all. The reason I'm going into all of this in such detail is to give you a better understanding of how to deal with fluids in general, which is going to be important when you're dealing with volume repletion or extremely sick patients. So, let's assume you have a 70 kilogram adult male that needs maintenance fluids for whatever reason. Remember from the previous video that you needed, at minimum, a concentration of 40 millicolons per liter of sodium and 20 to 40 millicolons per liter of K as a daily need. So let's talk about how we got those values. Um, and we'll also talk about how to calculate daily water and caloric needs as well. And so what you need to do is actually go to your reference charts and look these values up. So for example, for sodium, you would find that you need to provide 1.5 millicolons per kilogram per day. And since we're talking about a 70 kilogram male, multiply that by 70, and which gets you 105 millicolons of sodium per day. And so that's your daily need of sodium. And similarly for potassium, if you look at reference charts, you would find that you need 0.75 to 1.5 millicolons per kg per day multiplied by 70, and you would find that for your daily need of potassium is 52 to 105 millicolons per day. For water, using the 4 to 1 rule, which is a rule in pediatrics for determining maintenance fluid infusion rates, uh, which we'll talk about in another video, um, you find that you need 110 milliliters per hour of water. And since there's 24 hours in a day, multiply that by 24, which gets you 2.64 liters in a day. And lastly, calories. If you look at reference charts, you would find that you need 110 kilocal per hour. And just like for water, multiply that by 24. And you would find you need 2,640 kilocal per day. Per day. That's a day. Now, we know how much of each of the four substances we need to supply the patient in a day. Next, you need to figure out what concentration of solution to give to provide this. And you want to standardize this to one liter solutions because that's how we give fluids in medicine in units of one liter. And so we're going to go to a different um, page now. And so up top, you can see the values that we just found in a previous page. So those are the daily needs of each of the four substances. So let's start with sodium. You need 105 millicolons of sodium per day. And you have to provide this over the course of 2.64 liters per day, uh, which we found for, in the previous page. So if you divide 105 divide by 2.64 liters, you would find that you need 40 millicolons of sodium per liter as your concentration. So uh, this is a lot of fancy math, but what this essentially means is that at minimum, you need to give 2.64 one liter bags of 40 millicolons of sodium per liter concentration to cover the entire 105 millicolon sodium per day need. Now, uh, similarly, do the same thing for potassium. So in potassium, it's uh, 52 to 105 millicolons of K per day. Divide that by 2.64 liters per day. And you would also get 20 to 40 millicolons per K of K per liter. Water is pretty easy. Uh, you need 2.64 liters of water, so that means 2.64 uh, one liter bags of whatever solution you give. Uh, calories, remember that I told you that D5W only covers for 17% of your daily caloric needs? I'm going to go into detail how you would determine that. So D5W means 5% dextrose by weight. So in one liter of fluid, you have one kilogram or a thousand grams. And so that means 5% dextrose is 50 grams of dextrose. Each gram of dextrose provides 3.4 kilocals, and this is, for, again, from reference values. So you would multiply 50 times 3.4. And since you're 
giving 2.64 liters of DeFi multiplied by 2.64 as well. And this gets you 448.8 kilocals. And so that's how many kilocals you're providing if you uh, give DeFi for the whole day. And if you divide that by your total caloric need, which is 2,650, you would get 17%. Sorry, uh, I meant if it's 448.8 divided by 2,000, yep, and that would be 17%. So that's how you get that value. So let's put all of this together. You're going to use D5 as a source of calories to prevent the body from having to break down muscles to obtain calories. You're going to use half normal saline as the sodium source because it's not too hypotonic like quarter normal saline, and it doesn't provide more sodium than you need like normal saline. And you're going to add 20 to 40 millimoles of KCL to provide a K need. What we come up with is D5 half normal saline with 20 to 40 millimoles of KCL given at the rate of 110 milliliters per hour, which turns out to be 2.64 liters per day of total fluid as the best theoretical maintenance fluid. So let's get to our take home points. The daily maintenance needs for sodium, potassium, water, and calories can be found via reference charts, and there are numerous ones out there. Water maintenance infusion rates are determined by the 421 rule. Theoretical ideal maintenance fluids for a 70 kilogram patient is D5 half normal saline plus 20 to 40 millimoles of KCO at 110 milliliters per hour, which is about 2.6 liters. In terms of calories, if you give D5 over the course of the day, you're only supplying 17% of the needs, but that's okay because you're preventing muscle breakdown. Thank you.